coming into your YouTube airwaves, it's Vaughn, the Statman, and welcome to the Stat Room. Welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so week 15 is in the books, and I hope everyone saw that phenomenal game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers have now slipped three in a row, but for fantasy purposes, Big Ben was off, and the wide receiver Johnson was on. But before we get into the full breakdown, guys, let me introduce myself. Guys, I am Von the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter at Von the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VonTheStatman.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So for those who are interested in my NBA season slash NBA season, that will be in the comment section. Now, there's two prices for it. The people who actually already have my nfl season your price is different you can leave me a message in the comment section or send me a message on twitter your rate is different and if you're a new customer that rate will be in the comment section of this video all right guys so let's get right into the recap guys all right last week guys i gave you quarterback haskins and i said he was going to give you 18 to 20 fantasy points he gave you 16.6 but he had two interceptions and one fumble so if he doesn't have the fumble he's at 18 does have the interceptions he's at 20 and he only threw one touchdown played against a pretty solid defense this week i think he'll be a little he'll, he'll, he'll have a lot easier of a matchup this week next i gave you running back taylor he gave you 19.5 doesn't hurt your lineup almost gave you 20 points Next, I gave you McLaurin. Now, McLaurin had a lot of targets. He gave you 14.7. All he was missing was a touchdown, but 14.7 doesn't kill your line. And I gave you Titan Andrews, 17.5. So it wasn't bad for the four horsemen. But this week, I'm going to try to do better, guys. I'm going to try to get all four of these numbers in the 20s for you guys to help you guys cash. All right, guys. So if you made it this far, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you've been following me for the past three years, this is not the same channel. So please subscribe again. And if you think you subscribe but not sure, just subscribe again. All right, guys. So let's get right into the breakdown. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get into the breakdown. All right. So first up on the slate, we got Carolina at Washington. Now, Bridgewater was a quarterback that I love coming out of college. Minnesota drafted him. He didn't really get a fair shake there. He got injured, and then he got moved. He went to New Orleans, which was the best decision making of his life. He got a chance to be under, under Drew Brees. He had a chance to really understand and learn how to play quarterback the correct way. Sean Payton is great at developing quarterbacks. So I'm so happy for Bridgewater, but I do not like him in this matchup. Now, Haskins, last week he gave us a decent number. He gave us over 16 fantasy points. So I'm going back to the well, guys. I'm going with Haskins this week. Carolina has some rookie cornerbacks. Now, rookie cornerbacks, they they have good plays and they have bad plays because the cornerback position is the third hardest position to play. Quarterback is the hardest position to play as a rookie and then wide receiver and then cornerback because you are trying to guess where a guy's going. You haven't seen enough film and you're going up against the best guys that were that you faced in college. You're not going up against guys who won't be NFL talent. These guys are NFL talent and they are the best. Even a guy in, a, in, in the NFL who appears to not be A-level is still better than, any, than most of the receivers that the cornerback would have faced in college. All right, now at the running back position. Um, Gibson will probably be out again. Not a fan of Mike Davis. I am a fan of McKenzie this week. Last week, I told you guys that I liked him, but I did not want to run him. Mistake, I should have ran him. He balled out. He's going to get you about 20 fantasy points again. So I'm going back to the well with McKenzie. All right, guys. Now, the wide receiver position, I love McLaurin. DJ Moore, I'm not really feeling. Anderson, not really feeling. I like Samuels, guys, but... I'm going back to the well with McLaurin. I believe that McLaurin gets that touchdown this week. I believe he gets us 60 points. I mean, not 60 points, guys. He won't get 60 points, but I believe he'll get us 20 fantasy points. So he is one of my favorite wide receivers on the slate. I love Logan Thompson this week. Now, if you look at his numbers last week, he got all the check down work. He had 13 receptions. I don't expect 15 targets this week, but I still say he gets 10. So I do love him in this matchup. So... I love Thompson. Now, let's go to the next game. You got Indianapolis at Pittsburgh. So, if you look at, at the running back position, Pittsburgh 
is going to struggle against this Indianapolis team. They weren't able to stop the run against. They wasn't able to stop the run against Cincinnati. Taylor's a is a much better running back than what they faced last week in Bernard. I think Taylor will be able to run the ball on this Steeler team. Connor will probably play, but he won't be effective. If the Steelers really want to win, they need to make Benny Snell their running back because he's just a better back, in my personal opinion. I don't like Roethlisberger. I do like Drew Brees. I mean, I do like Phillip Rivers in that matchup. All right, at the receiver position, I think T.Y. Hilton is going to expose this team. I think he's going to have a good game. The receiver that I will play from Pittsburgh would be Claypool. I think Claypool has the mismatch in this matchup. <clears throat> now, at the tight end position, Ebron, he left the game early with a back injury, so not sure if he'll be back. Um, McDonald used to be the tight end of choice, but I don't know if he is still going to get the targets because Ben seems to like to throw the ball to his receivers. I like Doyle Burton, but I wouldn't run either one. All right, so let's break down the next game. Atlanta at KC. Guys, this game is going to be off the chain. Um, when it comes to the quarterback position in this matchup, I really like Ryan in this matchup. KC, you can throw the ball on them. Now, Mahomes is going to give you about 25 fantasy points, but I don't know if he's going to crack that 35-point plateau because they're going to run the bell. They're going to run the ball with Le'Veon Bell. I think Bell is going to be someone who you should consider rostering this week. Um, Gurley, Gurley is going to be better than most people expect. Now, I know he hasn't been doing well the past few weeks. You know, he hasn't really done well, but the way that you you beat Kansas City is you have to keep them off the field. So if Gurley don't get the carries, then I expect Brian Hill or Edo Smith It'll probably be Edo Smith. He's always the guy that no one thinks about it, and he comes out there and gets all of the, the carries. So Edo Smith will be the one I would take a gamble on. All right, guys, at the wide receiver position, you have two of the best, and you can't go wrong with either one of these, but it's going to be real tough to get either one of these guys in your lineup. Tyreek Hill is $9,000. I believe Tyreek Hill will get you around 25 fantasy points, but at $9,000, I believe we can get 25 fantasy points elsewhere Ridley 8500 he's going to be double teamed against Kansas City and it's not going to matter he's going to get you 20 20 fantasy points as well Julio Jones I wouldn't play him because he's gimpy and a receiver cannot be effective when they have any kind of lower leg injuries like knee injuries ankle injuries because these guys have to cut and plant and if they can't cut and plant they're not going to be as effective so he'll just be running straight which you'll be able to shut that down very quickly I do like Gage in this matchup. My sneaky play in this matchup would be Watkins. I think that he's due. And at the tight end position, guys, I'm giving you Kelsey. Um, he's just a baller, man. I mean, you, how can you not play Kelsey against Atlanta? Because they're going to have to double team. If you don't double team Tyreek Hill, he'll get 50 fantasy points every week. No one in the NFL can guard him one-on-one. So that's going to open up all this underneath stuff. Kelsey is going to get you 20-plus. He's safe. So that's why I'm giving you him. So that's it, guys. You got Kelsey, McLaurin, McKenzie, and Haskins. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. If you made it this far, guys, please hit that like button and also subscribe to me. And if you've been following me over the past three years, this is not the same channel. So please subscribe again. If you're not sure if you're subscribed to me, just hit the, the subscribe button. If you already subscribed, you won't be able to. But if you are, you will be able to. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And good hunting on week 16 of the NFL season. Love you guys.